Hey y'all, it's Ashley with Heart for Home. I just wanted to jump on here real quick and give you an in-depth view of America's Story Volume 1. Um, it is designed for third through sixth grade. I wanted to let you guys know what's in it and what makes it so special and what makes it the reason why we use it and we like it so much. So, let's get started. America's story is because it is a living book. Um, we enjoy living books. We enjoy Charlotte Mason style things, things that come to life, things that grab your attention. And I feel that this does grab his attention. It grabs my attention. It even grabs my four-year-old's attention. Um, he will be like, what? They did what? You know, so it, it has tidbits in it to help you remember things which is great. Okay, so another reason why we like America's Story is the patriotism that is weaved all throughout. It gives such a sense of patriotism by the time you were done, you fall in love with your country and the people that worked desperately to make it a free country. Okay, so this is America's Story 1. Um, it's written by Angela O'Dell and it's from the Ancient Americas to the Great Gold Rush. There are 28 chapters. Um, at the beginning, there's always a spotlight, some questions that the kids will be able to answer once they read the chapter, and then just some interesting facts. So it starts out at the Tower of Babel and how people actually got to America. So. There's always a narration break, which is normally they want the child to either read it or the parent to read it to the child, and then the child be able to summarize what all was said right here. And every chapter always has at least one, some have two, just depending on how long the chapter is and how much information is in the chapter. So many pictures, so colorful. Then at the end of the chapter, there's always some thoughts to remember. What I normally do is, is we talk about the thoughts to remember, and then after we've read the chapter, we go back and we answer the questions that were at the beginning, um, just to make sure that they knew what was going on. So just a quick look through the book. And it talks about George Washington. Well, oh my goodness, look at that. They even have crawfish. Yeah. I told y'all this was my favorite book. Yeah. Now y'all know why it's got crawfish. Yeah. It even had macaroni and cheese. I love it because it's such some tidbits that like your kid is not going to forget, like just some random, mm -hmm. random stuff, which I like. I like random stuff. Sometimes it's helpful to remember things, which reminds me that um, the author, Angela O'Dell, actually put some of her childhood stories, like when I was a child, like at the beginning she was like, when I was a child I thought that Greenland and Iceland, uh, that Iceland was icy and Greenland was green. And she was like, but that's not how it is, it's backwards. And, I think that that really helps the kids. It brings other kids into the story, so it makes it come alive for them. And here's about the war. Such pretty pictures. And more stories about the revolution. And then it talks about Betsy Ross right here. Yeah, so in the flag. women going to war and then right here I love this this is the old Philadelphia what it used to look like 
and where things were. And it actually talks about Betsy's Ro Betsy Ross's house is still standing. So you can actually go see it. So it's basically the same throughout. It has the same in the spotlight, the narration. It always has um, timeline at the top. And then it talks about losing in a purchase. So that is pretty much it. It pretty much is all the same. It talks about um, the abolition movement and who Harriet Tubman was, who Frederick Douglass was. The Underground Railroad. who serve that freedom isn't free this is the teacher's guide for america story one again third through sixth grade um it can be used lower or higher just depending on how you want to do it master books is famous for giving a suggested daily schedule and then being able to grade their stuff right here in the teacher's guide so this is just what the suggested daily schedule looks like Okay, so there is a world map here if you need to use this. It also does ask um, you to look at a map a lot. Um, either you can use this or if you have another map, we actually have a globe, so we use a globe. But this is in here in case you need it. It also has a, state, a map of the United States and it tells you what material that you'll need and then it gives you questions and answers. Okay, so Quick look, lots of drawing, lots of maps, lots of timelines. Okay, so that's basically it. There's artist studies within here of that time period. And then there's two things that I definitely want to show you guys. And that is right here, my, my book of prayers for my country. So, and then my prayers for the week. Is that not the sweetest thing ever? I love it. And then it gives you an example of some. This is the answer key. The answer key is in the back. And the glossary and geographical terms. So you can know what certain things are. And then here's special project ideas. And these are just some things you can make or reviews that you can do. And then here's timeline activity cards. Okay, so that is an in-depth look at America Story 1 and the Teacher's Guide. Um, comment below and tell me what you think about this, if you use this in your curriculum and how you do it. I would love to know more information about how you do it and what you use for your history. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so that you can be first to know whenever I post a new video. I try to do one weekly. Um, I appreciate you guys. Y'all hope y'all have a blessed day. Thanks. Bye.